All right, I want to do a reading right now on a topic I've been thinking about. And I've been thinking about just the shocking lack of self-awareness that I see in in so many people. It's it's really glaring in this whole left wing versus right wing thing, you know. Um it's just like if you are a right winger, then everything that the left wing does is criminal and stupid, but there's a complete lack of awareness of all the things that the right wing does that are criminal and stupid. And it's the other way too. Um, it's just a fundamental lack of self-awareness. There's so much judgment, but there's no awareness of self in how we do things, you know, that could also be judged, you know, it's like look in a fucking mirror once in your fucking life. So anyway, what I'm trying to find out is if there is anything that can be done to sort of jog a, uh, some self-awareness in people because it seems to be vacating the premises, you know? All right. So our root card is an Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is essentially showing emotional fulfillment. The Ace of Cups says things can be good, so there's an opportunity for things to be good. The, I mean, this is just emotional satisfaction, emotional and spiritual fulfillment, right? And that's at the root. And that does make a lot of sense because I don't think any of the people who are so judgy and have no self-awareness have any sort of personal, spiritual, or emotional fulfillment. Um, and the main card here is the King of Pentacles. So this is the businessman. Um, it really talks about managing resources. The King of Pentacles would have enough money to do whatever they want to do. Let's just see what's happening on either side of this. And there is the Judgment card and the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So the King of Pentacles might just be talking about security of resources. Um, the judgment card leading up to it, obviously judgment is a part of this whole thing. And here, I mean, the judgment card sort of highlights what I'm talking about. Because here is the angel of judgment blowing the trumpet. Right. And here's all the people that are being judged and they're like, oh, my God. But the angel isn't being judged. They're like doing the judgment. Right. But where does the fucking mirror get held up to the angel of judgment? You know what I mean? So we have this sort of stark contrast here between the judger and the judged. And this is definitely directional one way. And what I'm trying to figure out is how that gets dissipated, you know? So that leads to the King of Pentacles. And as it moves forward, it goes to the Knight of Pentacles. So I guess if we're just looking at what is happening, the King of Pentacles might be just sort of security, like the King of Pentacles feels this financial security. But this might be just security in the fact that they are so judgy. Like, as long as they can judge other people, then they're fine. And as this moves forward, it moves into a Knight of Pentacles, and that's that's about pattern. Um, discipline, structure. So, I mean, this might just be talking about a structure and a discipline of judging other people. Okay. Now... This isn't offering a solution, I do not believe. However, maybe it does. Hold on. Um, no, 
it doesn't. So what I want to find out is how to break this. Uh, and, and let's see if that's even possible for one, but I guess it's right on the top here. And a four of swords. So the four of swords, I was kind of thinking about this before the reading. It might be just getting out of town, so to speak, and going and staying for a while in the woods. But the four of swords is all about mental separation. So this is separating mentally from the things that keep pulling at your head. So if the extreme left-wingers or the extreme right-wingers or any other person that just has a complete lack of self-awareness, if they were able to just separate for a while and chill. And what happens here, because all of the energy is happening in the head, so the person buries themselves underground so they can literally ground. It's like bringing the energy back down into your body. And the, I mean, that might be the deal. Like, we're becoming so separated from our bodies that we are losing self-awareness, right? And this is kind of saying grounding or bringing the energy back down into your body um, might be the way to counteract that with a foundation here too of an ace of cups, which is, you know, emotional and spiritual fulfillment. Um, let's see. I guess what I want to find out because you can't make people do this, right? And I don't see a situation Unless there's a massive fucking blackout or something, I don't see a situation where people are going to separate mentally and like go back to some sort of chill state. And even the massive blackout, that wouldn't do it. It would be more of an apocalypse scenario at that point. So let's see if, if there's anything that we can do to assist this process, right? And of course, this isn't forcing anyone to do anything, but how do we sort of put that energy out there? And we get a six of pentacles. This is giving energy to the ghost. The six of pentacles would essentially say that there's nothing that we can do, right? Um, we could give energy to this ghost, but it's not going to change anything. So it would kind of be throwing our resources away. All right. Well, going back to this original spread here, what else can we make out of this? I mean, I'm just sort of unclear on why these are both Pentacles cards. When we go from Judgment to the King of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. So let, let's just see, what is this showing? Like... What exactly is the deal? And the moon is showing manipulation. All right. So the pentacles cards, the way that I guess I would blend these, this could be materialism. Um, I guess that would make a lot of sense if this was just surface level material shit. And it could also be driven by the fact that a lot of people don't have material wealth, so they're finding other ways to make themselves feel good, I guess. Um, but as this uh, manifests here, at least in the reading in Pentacles cards, it looks like the material aspect of this whole situation is what's really causing the manipulation. And I suppose the more material the person is, the less they would be able to see the fact that they're being manipulated. All right. Um, and I guess we do have sort of the antidote here in the Four of Swords, which is mental separation and sort of bringing energy back down into your body. Um, what I want to see 
is if if this is just like going to keep increasing, if it's just like this infinite thing that gets bigger and bigger. Ooh, and we get a temperance card. No, that's, oh, and we get the 10 of swords. All right. These actually both showed up in the, the processing reading that I did for today. Um, but does this increase forever? Now, the temperance card is showing greater understanding. So the temperance card is a great card to show up here because it shows that eventually people will start to figure it out. And the Ten of Swords is also showing that it won't come without internal torture, I guess is the word that was coming from my mouth. But it's like you would feel it inside as you sort of gain this greater perspective it looks like you would then understand like how, th well, you would understand how things have gone wrong, but the 10 of swords also says that deep down, everybody kind of knows when they are doing something wrong, when something is fucked up about the way that they are being. Um, and this would be sort of the, the punch that you would get on the inside from finally understanding that you've been fucking up for however long. But the Temperance card is a great card to show up here because this would be the left and the right wing. I mean, it's not just about that, but that's a, a good thing to, to use as an example. So the Temperance card, here's the left wing, here's the right wing, whatever. So this is about the truth of both of them. You know, it's like combine them both together and there's a greater truth that comes out of it. You don't throw one away and go with the other. You combine them and there's a greater truth to them both being valid. So as that happens, then this Ten of Swords shows a lot of internal hurt and injury as they kind of see that they've been fucking up for years. Um, and of course, this would also apply to me in ways that I just don't see at this moment. But as I gain greater perspective, then I would see how I've been fucking up for years, you know? But if you feel like maybe you have been losing a sense of self-awareness, or if your judginess has gone through the roof, then this looks like it's the way to deal with that in, in a Four of Swords. And we also do have the Ace of Cups on the bottom. This makes perfect sense to me, because if there is emotional and spiritual fulfillment, then you kind of don't give a fuck what other people are doing at all, right? Um, but here, I mean, that's what we get here. I've been thinking about this a lot and, um, let me know what you think about this. If you have any ideas for readings, I take requests for readings through the Patreon page. So you can subscribe to the Patreon page for as little as $5 a month. And I think that would be a good idea. Um, and then you can throw topics at me. And I'll do readings about whatever, whatever you say. Okay, that's what we have for now. Peace.